Whoa. That one's peeling drag, guys. The heck is this? Guys, this one's peeling drag on me. What's going on, guys? Finally back with another fishing video. I think it's been like four or five weeks. Man, guys, I've been trying to get out here doing some fishing. Every single weekend I've been getting out, it's been either getting blown out with the wind, the rain, you know, dealing with work and family, everything else. It's been crazy. But anyways, guys, we are back. I figured we got about an hour to go. We're on the golf pond. I'll show you guys what I'm throwing right now. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. As soon as you get out of work, you know, it's like dang near nighttime already. So we're going to toss some, uh, a couple of crankbaits around. I've got a little paddle tail worm, or not a paddle tail worm, but a paddle tail shad color bait. And then I've got a little a square bill. No, it looks like a round bill. Got a little bit of time here. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Well, like I said, it's been about four or five weeks. This is what we're going to throw here. Crank bait out. I'm trying to get on some of this fall fishing action here. Heck, I think the last time we were out it was 75 degrees. I think I'm gonna swing on out over here. Just got out of work. Got a little bit of time here. It's kind of tough this time of year when you got to work till five or six and then you get home and by the time you get all your stuff together, it's getting dark, so. Hopefully I'll have a little bit of luck. Come back over here to this little spot here. That's where I was at the first time. Did pretty good right in this little corner. At least I don't have to worry about snakes. Go ahead and get this little crankbait out here. See if we can get a bite on this sucker. This is the one I salvaged off the bottom of the lake. I was throwing out a cast and I thought I had something pulled up someone's old fishing line and what do you know this guy was on there still in good shape hooks are sharp doesn't look like it was very old so I rescued it put that guy back to action let's get it out there a little bit towards the middle Try to catch me a pond hog right now. Fish on. Little guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well. <laughs> damn. Spin a rooney. I'm not skunk, guys. I think I wanted something a little bit bigger, but uh, I'll take it. Dang, man, I've seen swim baits bigger than this guy. That's a little baby. Baby out. <laughs> well, uh, I was hoping these fall bass were going to be a little bit bigger, but I'll take it. <laughs> Not sure what kind of crankbait this is. Bomber. Well, Sticking with that fall fishing pattern. I've got that white paddle tail. Little swim bait I should show you guys. Probably throw that in a little bit. Let's see what else would be dynamite right now. Fall fishing, definitely a white spinner would be good. Some people were talking about throwing frogs. I didn't think you could really uh, be very good on a frog right now, but maybe. I don't know. I don't do too much frog fishing, but... I guess if that's what they're eating in your area, throw it. Someone just came up and whacked it. Well, I got that little guy somewhere out in this area. Probably about 15 feet out. So hopefully, if they're not concentrated on the edges, maybe some of the bigger guys are closer to that water feature. We'll see. I'm hitting a rocker. Yeah, that's rock. That's the old rock bass down there freaking me out. I thought I was getting a bite. That's twice right there. 
something under there bumping my crankbait. Oh no! Might lose the crankbait here, guys, on that little boulder right there. Oh, lost it. Crap. Well, maybe somebody will fish that one out. Okay, guys. Switched it up. Oh, man. Oh, all tangled up here. You guys already know what it is. We're gonna get the business in now. That chrome rattle trap. Oh, yeah. Oh, tangled up again. Oh, crap. I'm all tangled up here. Stand by. Tangle corrected. Man, I sure hope we have a little bit better luck. That one little baby fish just ain't gonna cut it. Let's see, we'll shoot it this direction. There we go. Some good distance on that one. Whoa! That one's peeling drag, guys. What the heck is this? Guys, this one's peeling drag on me. Dude. This one's peeling drag, guys. Holy crap. Fish on. Guys, we might have a hog here. Don't snap me off. Guys, I don't know what this is. It's big, though. It hadn't surfaced yet. Holy crap, guys. Dude. This might be a big old carp. Oh my god, are you guys kidding me? Guys, what was that? What was that? It came off. Holy crap. Guys, what was that? Whatever it was, it was peeling some serious drag. Oh my goodness. How did it come off? Man, I didn't give that thing no slack. Rattle trap, didn't I tell you guys? I didn't get to see what it was. It didn't surface. Whatever it was, it was darting me around. Got my heart pumping though. Whatever it was, it was big. If I had to take a guess, I mean, it was probably a big old large mouth. I doubt a carp would hit something like this. I mean, maybe a catfish, maybe. Carp, highly doubt it. Possible though. I don't know, whatever it was, it felt heavy. Kind of made my, my bicep hurt a little bit, man. Who knows how big that thing was, man. Five plus pounds? Probably. Dang it. Well, that's fishing for you, isn't it? I don't know what's worse. Not getting able, not being able to see it <laughs> while you're dragging that sucker in or Getting it close enough to find out what it was and then have your line snap off on you. I think that would probably be worse. <laughs> I haven't had a fight like that in a long time. Long time. Many, many years. That could have easily been maybe... Might sound a little outrageous, but... I mean, we're talking maybe 10 pounds. I mean, that thing was... Bowing up my medium heavy rod. I mean, I got a falcon rod here pretty stout 30 pound braid no leader I know my knot wasn't gonna break all I had to do was wear it down a little bit more and <laughs> probably would have broken some type of Arkansas state record on this damn pond <laughs> that's a nice little pond bass there Look at that guy oh man you got him on that red flake yum dinger there man good deal right on man right in those weeds there there you go all right we ain't 
skunked. Well, we're not skunked. Well, I mean, the sun just cut down behind the clubhouse, so maybe they're going to pick up now. I mean, I was standing right here, and he was right there, and he was there. You know what's funny is I'm over here by the gear bag, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking about tying on like a Texas rig, like a worm or something. There we go. Fishing's a little bit slow, man. Maybe I'll throw in a, a net worm or something. Give the old net a shot. Yum dinger, maybe a crawl. What about a fall crawl? Actually, that's a great idea. I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. I got some of these rage tails. Oh yeah, fall crawl. It's not my best work, but it'll do. Oh yeah. What's cool about that particular Strike King uh, crawdad is when that sucker goes down, those two little crawl legs are just flicking. They look like little helicopter blades and they just flick all the way down. So if you're not dragging across the bottom, a lot of times you wanna kinda of keep your line a little bit uh, tight or have a little bit of tension on it just like this and you'll feel a little boom. Sure enough, you'll have something come down and whack that bait while it's fallen. If not, you just let that guy go all the way down to the bottom while your line's kind of tight and as soon as your line sinks down and goes slack, then you know you're on the bottom and you're ready to go. You can also swim these things too. You can get it pretty low to the bottom. Matter of fact, you just sink it pretty much right to the bottom and then you can swim it all the way back and just the action from the little tails will get those fish to come out and check it out. Just a little largemouth? That's the little baby. That's the one I caught over there, man. What's he doing over here? Wacky style. Got him on the wacky? <laughs> Got him on the wacky. <laughs> hey, man, when they're not biting, man, you got to wacky it up. Little baby out. Well. They're up in that grass, man. He felt bigger though, because he hit it. <laughs> I heard you, man. I was like, You looked over, I pulled him up, I was like, he's just a little bit of Yeah, from over there, I was like, man, that looks kind of big. <laughs> see if you guys can see me. Well, hopefully you guys can see me. It's getting a little bit dark here. Probably gonna fish for a little bit while longer. But uh, figure I'll cut this outro before it gets uh, too dang dark and you guys can't see nothing. Anyways, guys, had that really big old fish over here in this corner. Don't know what it was. You guys let me know what you think it was. I mean, was it a carp, catfish? I don't know. I think it was probably like a 10-pound bass. But um, got a couple little fish. My dad caught a couple. I got that little, little baby bass over there. So it was fun. I haven't been out fishing for, like I said, four or five weeks since my last upload. Other than that, guys, had a little bit of fun catching these little fish um if you guys like this video make sure you guys uh let me know down in the box give me a thumbs up and uh, if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i'm gonna be putting out hopefully a few more videos pretty soon i've got a couple different ideas i'm gonna do probably gonna try to do some uh some cat fishing videos maybe some carp fishing ones probably gonna do a couple videos on showing you guys what i do to make my own uh bait for those kind of fish but other than that guys uh Hope you guys like this one. If you do, let me know. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!